Teddy is here, and today I have another tutorial video for you guys, and it has to do with Mega Man X Legacy Collections. Upon getting it from my brother, who shared it to me, and he can play it just fine, this is what happens when I've tried to play it. It just crashes. Like, why? I've never had a problem with any game I've ever played. So, but it has to do with your monitor. Your monitor can't do more than 60 frames per second. And this is how I fixed it so that I could play with my monitor. I didn't know this until today. I just figured this out that this was the problem. Because I was doing a tedious way, which is the other method I'm going to show you guys after this that you can do. But the actual problem has to do with in your monitor settings. So we're going to go down into our monitoring settings right now. So we're just going to go into here. And tap this, and then we're going to go down to the one that says display. And we're going to go into our display settings, and we're going to turn off overclock. Oopsie, <laughs> sorry about that. And, you're going to turn off. and then your screen's going to go black and do its thing. There you go. Now it's off. And we're going to go back to our computer. Alright, now that we're back in our computer. We're just going to hit play. And there you go. That's method one on how to fix this problem. Um, this is for people who only have one monitor and it's a nice one. Usually the monitor is overclocked. And now if, if you was to actually go uh, back into there. Again. Oopsie. Wrong button. And then tap. And then go back down to the display. Sorry. And then turn overclock back on. And then go back. Oops. Back. It's not on. It's physically not on until your monitor shuts back off. So we're going to shut it off just so I can show you guys. Or at least this is how my monitor works, so. Okay. Let's send those. And then we'll turn back on. I just waited a few seconds. Now we'll turn back on. And there. There's that. And now we're going to go back to the PC. So I should move the camera. And then when I try to apply, it doesn't work. So the second method is to just go to display settings and have two monitors and make another one your main monitor. And then hit play. And then the second monitor will play. I'm just going to. Then you can do that as well. But if you don't want it to be on your second monitor, you just take it out of Windows and put it in Windows mode. And then go back to your main screen and make this one your main one again. If you don't have to do that, I like to do that step. Then go back to your second screen and then drag it over to your main screen now mind you this is the second method and then you can put it back into Windows full screen and it's on your main display again so those are the two methods you can do um, for Mega Man if you weren't able to play it before like I said I just found out that one I didn't know that was such a thing so hopefully this has helped you guys. Uh, just comment, like, subscribe. Uh, you can put good or bad. You don't have to sugarcoat it. Let me know what I did wrong and what not, and I will work to improve. I just want to help the community grow and help anyone as much as I can. So, Dirty Yoshi's off to go back to his shell and sleep. Later, guys.